Hi, this is my second video on the Aeneid 2 prescription with the prescribed lines 544 to 559. This section is going to look at the death of Priam at the hands of Neoptolemus, or Pyrrhus, who you can see on the title image here. We're going to look at his translation, the Latin, and some effects. So let's look at the Latin first. Sig fatus senior telumque imbele sine ictu coniecit, rauco quod protainos are repulsum. Et sumo clipe nequiquam umbone pependit. Qui pirus referes ergo hec et nuntius ibis pelidae genitori. Ili mea tristia facta, de generem que neoptolemum nerare memento, nunc morere. Let's have a look at how this translates into the English line by line, because we've got Pyrrhus directly addressing Priam after Priam's taken up arms and taken up weapons in his old age. So spoke the old man, and hurled his weak and harmless spear which straight recoiled from the clanging brass and hung idly from the top of the shield's boss. So we've got Senior, the old man, um, Konyeki is hurled and it goes over the line with enjambement, his harmless spear, uh, telum sine ictu, so his spear without impetus, without ictus, okay? And we've got aire repulsum, clanging brass, and the top of the shield's boss is summo, like summit, clipei, idly, or in vain, is nequiquam, and pependi is it hung, it's where we get the word pendant, so we can see how this fits together. To him, Pyrrhus, then you shall bear this news and go as messenger to my father, Peleus' son. Be sure to tell him of my sorry deeds and his degenerate Neoptolemus. Now die. So qui Pyrrhus, to him, dative qui Pyrrhus, referes, like bear or take down, nuntius, messenger, and we've got the dative Pelidae genitori. Okay, so the father, son of Peleus. Okay. Um, so he's referring to Achilles. Nerare memento, remember to narrate, and nunc morere, now die, like mortuary. So we can see how it fits together. So the effects. Sic fatus senior is a caesura in the first line that shows emphasis on uh, Priam's role. Senior is him, it's the old man, okay? Konyeki shows enjambement. He finally throws the um, telum the javelin and it is of no effect. So it shows the ineptitude of him and Konyeki is on its own for emphasis. We're waiting for him to do it, dramatic pause, he goes over the line, he finally does it. Nequiquam is part of Virgil's idiolect. We saw this with Natai Nequiquam, with their Hecuba and her daughters, and it means in vain. Pelidae genitori is a patronymic of Achilles' father, Peleas, so it's showing a heroic lineage. Notice also that we've got a few more effects taking us to the end of the passage and even for coverage in your passages when you are translating, when you are interpreting them. Pyrrhus and Neoptolemon, we have two different names for Pyrrhus in the same section. Pyrrhus means fire and Neoptolemus means new warrior. So it's this idea of fire and renewal as Troy burns down there's a promise of a new generation. We've got a worse generation in Neoptolemus and a better generation in Aeneas. So let's see what the effects are when we put them all together. Let's see what we've got for an analysis of this passage. We've got Caesura and Jambemont. We've got uh, Virgil's Idiolect with Nequiquam. We've got the imagery of death and renewal in Pyrrhus and Neoptolemus, the patronymic, and also alliteration, narare memento nunc morere, that repeats the sounds of Neoptolemus' name, because we've got Neoptolemum narare memento nunc morere. So it all seems to relate back to this alliteration and add to Neoptolemus' name, as well as his imperative to Priam, he's commanding a much older king. Here's the full English for you to see what it means. Pause the video and try to translate the passage. I'll be adding more videos on Aeneid 2 to help you with your revision. Thanks!